go. Hi, and, and welcome back to the CPMA broadcast. I'm Naomi. And I'm Alice. Our first story today... Naomi, I think we need to have a change today. That's better. Now I'm low-key. Today we have Easter, Mr. J's basketball bracket, our weekly weather... And the history of April Fool's with Hector. Here's Easter with Eva. Thanks, studio. Unfortunately, today I've got some bad news. It's the time of the year for that one holiday no one really knows about or how it started. And after loads of research for weeks straight, there is still no clear answer. Thankfully, we know what we all must do. Ask people questions about how they celebrate this holiday. What's your name? Lydia. How does your family celebrate Easter? Um, we do an Easter egg hunt, and my mom and dad get me a Easter baskets. Okay, thank you. What's your name? Franco. What does your family do to celebrate Easter? Um, most of the time we just hang out with family members. Thank you. That's all for today. Have fun coloring your eggs and smashing confetti-filled ones on friends and family's heads. Disclaimer, don't use confetti eggs at school. Back to the studio. And now Mr. J's tournament with Carmelo. Hello, CPMA broadcast. In today's broadcast, I'll be interviewing people on how they feel about their CPMA basketball college bracket. Who am I here with? Kevin. How do you feel about your CPMA college basketball bracket? Uh, I feel pretty confident that they're going to win. Who do you have winning the whole bracket? Uh, Alabama. Thank you. Who am I here with? Marco. How do you feel about your CPMA college basketball bracket? Uh, I feel pretty good, pretty solid, you know what I'm saying? Who do you got winning the whole thing? I put Houston, you know? Thank you. Thank you for watching about these interviews about the CPMA basketball college brackets. Finally, the history of April Fools with Hector. Hey CPMA, April Fools has just passed, so why not let's talk about some history behind it and how it originally started. People in 1582 who were slow to get the news or failed to recognize that the start of a new year had moved to January 1st and continued to celebrate it during the last week of March through April 1st became the butt of jokes and hoaxes and were called April Fools. These pranks included having paper fish placed on the backs and referred to as April Fish, said to symbolize a young, easily caught fish and gullible person. So that's why we have pranks on April Fools. We hope you found this broadcast interesting and I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching this broadcast. I'm Alice. And I'm Loki. And, and this, this was, was the CPMA, CPMA broadcast. broadcast. See you next week.